sneakers. I was wearing that old shirt my mom got me for my birthday, paired with old blue jeans and white sneakers. The time, 2.43 p.m. The meal, Subway's Chicken Cordon Blue Melt. Bite into the unforgettable flavor of the new Chicken Cordon Blue Melt. Made with grilled chicken, black forest ham, and melted cheese. Only for a limited time, and only at Subway. It's what's inside that counts. Inside your house, that is. With Beacon, you can ensure everything inside your home with our Easy Buy contents packages. Just click Match and Buy to cover your furniture, electronics, appliances, clothes, clothing, kitchen items, and much, much more for maximum peace of mind with minimum fuss. Log on to beacon.co.tt and choose your package today. Call us at 440-4447 for more info today. Mommy, you always a prayer for me. Oh, I wish that you could know just so much you dear to me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, every day me a pray for you. Me a pray for you. Ooh, never make her stand. Oh, God. Give her everlasting breath to enjoy my success. Watch the road where she tried. Oh, God. Give her everlasting breath. So she can enjoy my success mm-hmm. From the day when me born With you so much of variation Me promise my mother from them time The better days must come so my big one She said rub me and just go and sing your song But make sure you get an education Me never from never get back No time when me come home can find food for now High school graduation the one pair of shoes me put it on And I do me sleep, me still be clean She glad to see me achieve me dream Take a look at me now Your teachings and blessings are shown Still I'm following the crown Me a live to make you proud Never make her sad Oh God Give her everlasting breath To enjoy my Watch the road Alrighty, and of course, we are back on a beautiful Monday morning, May 18th, as we start off another ladies' room, another working week together in this COVID-19 period. Just want to say good morning to everybody, those of you listening online, those of you listening on radio, all those of you viewing the live right now on Facebook. This is the quickest I've seen you guys come in this room ever. The speed and the quickness y'all came in this morning, I was wondering what was going on, but we all know why, right? Y'all don't ever come in this early for me. It takes a minute to get you guys here. But this morning... I'm not even seeing the fellas who are usually here with me. It's only ladies in the room this morning. Anyways, you know the reason why. We got Romy and Virgo in the building, y'all, inside our ladies' room. And we are so, so happy to have him here on this beautiful Monday. Hey, Romaine, good morning. How are you? Good morning. How are you you hearing me clearly? um, Let me see. I'm getting a little feedback. Um, Try it again. Let me see. You're hearing me now? Yeah. Yeah, I think we're working with that now. Guys on the live, you guys hearing us clearly? Yeah, give me a thumbs up if you are. I'm hearing a little squeaky sound somewhere. Listen, let me know if you're getting it, the thumbs up. And um, we'll, we'll do the love after. Let me just know if we're clear and coming across and hearing us without... Asking them for thumbs up. I'm only seeing hearts across the screen. Thumbs up. You hear it? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All right. I think they got us now. How are you? How's everything on your side? How's Jamaica? How are you doing? Yeah, well, we're here. Um, we're just trying to... Well, it's beautiful. The sun is shining today. And um, we're just giving thanks for life. But um, we're just trying to... You know, by, by the rules that you know, you know the government set out, you know, trying to stay home as much as possible, trying to keep you know social distance, you know, trying to wash our hands as much as possible, trying to wear our mask as often as we can, and and you know, and just trying to protect ourselves and our families as much as we can. Okay, um, folks are saying it's um, they're getting a little squeaky sound. Let me just make sure. 
um, let me just get my tech um, my PD on it to make sure that we we have it um, we have it clear. Yeah, they're getting um they're getting a little squeaky. They're hearing me fine, mm -hmm. but they're hearing you um squeaky. Okay, so hang on with us for a little um a couple of seconds, folks. Let me just um get my my techie to check it out for you. All right, don't worry, we got it. <laughs> Stop stressing. <laughs> Never make our son. Oh God, give our everlasting breath to enjoy my success. Watch the road where she tried. Oh God, working on it from his end. So she can. So hang for a second. Let me get him in again. All right. From the day when me born, we hear so much separation. Me promise my mother from them time the better days must come so my big one. She said, rub me and just go and sing your song. But make sure you get the education. <laughs> me never Carrie's coming back. I told you, hold a sec. We're just sorting it out. Can't find food for now. High school graduation. The impatience, I swear. I know we don't have a lot of time, so that's why I'm trying to get it going quickly. All right, let me hear you again. You're hearing me now? Yeah, I think we better know. Right. Good. All right, great. Because they're about to wring my neck this morning, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he was telling us about, you know, uh, coping with COVID in, in, in Jamaica and trying to stay safe and, um, you know, everybody, yeah. you know, indoors. How is that for you, though? Because um, you're accustomed being out there. We know you're touring practically every weekend you're somewhere. How has that, yeah. how has that transition been for you, being home this much? Yeah, it has changed, you know, um, tremendous. Like, I mean, you know, as I say, we're always on the road, you know, and, and um, always out there performing, you know, so it affects, you know, I guess everybody in, 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 you know, in, in a way that we didn't expect, you know, and, um, you know, so I'm home, you know, and um, most of the days, you know, I'm just here, you know, trying to write music as much as I can, trying to record as much as I can whenever I get the opportunity. You know, but, you know, like for me now, you know, it's, it's like a self-search time. I kind of look at it from the point where if if I was, if, if everything was okay and people could travel and we were on the road, then I wouldn't get to spend so much time with, you know, like the, the, the newborn, my newborn babies, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so I, I look at that positive part of it you know, and say, yeah, I'm grateful that I'm home and I can you know, spend, you know, time with them, especially in this early part of their, their lives, you know, and, um, you know, that that's the biggest plus from this, you know, and um, as I say, I get to self-search some more, you know, get a little bit closer with myself, my inner self, and, you know, try to make it come true, you know, my writing, you know, you know, obviously it would affect, you know, me financially, you know, because as Caribbean artists, you know, the, the, the way we, we, um, we earn, is through traveling and touring and doing shows, you know, so it would affect us financially. But, you know, the greatest part of this whole thing is that, you know, we have life and, you know, um, once you have life, everything, everything else is, is good, you know, so, so you know, I'm, I'm just here patient, you know, waiting, patiently waiting and, um, you know, hoping that, you know, the time will come soon where we can go back on stage so that people around the world, you know, especially, the people in Grenada can get to see me once more. <laughs> you know, we so it is, get that, you know, because we were supposed to see you yeah. this year. But before that, yeah. though, I just want to back up a bit because, I mean, how do you do it, though? Because you've moved, last year was like 2018, 2019, has been such a busy time for you, apart career-wise, getting into, okay, mm. um, marriage and then having twins. How has, how has that transition for you, moving from an artist, doing your thing, and then getting into yeah. the whole family life, married, then babies right after? How has that been for you? I mean, I always see myself as a family man. You know, mm -hmm. um, before I was father, I was, you know, um, godfather to a, to a lot. You know, I think I'm godfather <laughs> to probably 13, 13 or, or 14 now. You know, um, but I always see myself that we always feel like a father. You know, um, I always feel like a husband too. Um, you know, and so, so, so with that feeling, you know, with that belief, you know, everything does come together. You know, you know, nicely, and um, you know, it's it is not easy to 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 balance everything. You know, but you know, you know, growing up as a 
um, growing up without the father figure around me, you know, I was determined to change that and to make, you know, the future for my family different from, from the way I grew up, you know, and, um, you know, just, just, just wanting to please my mother at the end of the day, wanting her to feel good, wanting her to, to, to feel like, the, you know, she has raised a man, you know, um, so with all that in, in my head and with, with how I believe, you know, you know, life can be, you know, um, you know, I think that's, that's why, that's how I'm, I'm really managing now. And I have people, I have a team that supports me as well. You know, I have a family that supports me. And um, I just, I'm just grateful for them, grateful for them understanding, you know, you know, my life outside of family. And, and I think that's why it works. It's, I'm really happy you raised that point about, you know, um, trying to be that father figure. And of course, your mom taking care of you, raising you, because you hear of so many instances, especially in the Caribbean, of single family homes where the mother practically raises five, six, seven, eight, nine children by herself. Yeah, and, you know, yeah, you have children coming out after and saying, you know what, they'll do the same thing that they saw their dad did to their mother. And hearing you say what mm. you want to make a difference and be a better example, your thoughts on parenting and, you know, your, your style of parenting as compared to what you received with the absence of yours? Ah, well, you know, you know it, it, it is a tough question. Whenever people ask me, like, you know, what, what, you know, what I learned from, you know, parents growing up, you know, obviously there wasn't the father figure around. So mommy had to teach me, you know, everything that a mother would teach, you know, a son, you know, and, you know, from a mother's perspective, you know, and, you know, as, as best as she could for, for, for the father, from, from, a, from a father's perspective, you know, but, you know, I would say most of, most of what I learned, you know, and most of what I learned becoming a man is, is just looking on, you know, in society, and just seeing the things that I need to do, you know, there wasn't a father figure there to say, yo, you know, son, this is the right way. This is how you live and this is what you're supposed to do. You know, so, so that part I would say I missed, you know, but it, it shows that there is no excuse for being a man, you know, um, you know, for all the young men out there watching, you know, there's no excuse because, um, you know, once you know the right way, you know, once you believe that there is a right way and, and you can change, you can you, you, you can you can adapt to that um life and then you can become a man, you know. Um so I would I would say I, there wasn't a lot um out there for me to, you know, like ar around me in my early age to say that, you know, you know, that father figure, you know, to say, Yes, this is how you're supposed to be. Um but I, I just I just I just look around and and, and see, you know, things that, you know, I should be doing, you know, things that if I do it, it, it would really come off good, you know, and um, I, just, I just stick to that, you know, and, and here I am today, you know, I'm not perfect, but, you know, I know right, you know, and I think once you know the, the right thing, you know, you can do it, there, there, nobody has to be around you or over you to, to say, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, and this is the way you're supposed to be, you know, one inside you, once inside you know that, you know, this is, this, this should be the way then, you know, definitely you can. I'm so, so happy you say that because that's a conversation I say all the time. I always say your circumstances should not define you. As a matter of fact, it should be a teaching and a learning moment because you lived mm -hmm. it, you experienced what it was like not having that father in the, in the home. So why would you mm -hmm. think, why should you do it? You know how that felt, being your father being absent. Mm -hmm. So why should you impregnate a woman and then abandon your child? You're in exactly. a perfect position to understand what exactly you should or should not do. So, you know, mm -hmm. I never, ever get it. And I, I, I really don't subscribe to that excuse. And I'm happy that you coming from that um, position, being, you know, um, somebody a lot of folks look up to, um, hearing you saying it really puts a different spin. And I hope the men in the room who may be doing it, you guys are listening and, and, and taking notes this morning. Because, I mean, it's mm -hmm. split to see the respect you have from your mom. For example, the song playing in the background. I saw you doing yeah. a show. <laughs> And your mom, I can't remember what show it was, but your mom was by um, stage side and taking it all in. And the <laughs> tears on her face, and you know, she was just beaming with pride. What made you do this yeah. song, um, tribute to your mom? Well, you know, it was always a, been up like it's always in me. You know, I wanted to do something special for her. You know, um, just talk about, you know, the, the the way I grew up. You know, and thing, you know, you know, everybody's doing a mother song. You know, and I wanted to do something that, that wasn't just another mother song, Mommy, I love you. Mommy, you're the greatest. You know, because everybody and anybody can do that. Mm -hmm. 
you know, what I wanted to, I wanted to, 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 to write a song with a different concept, you know, and, you know, you know, how, how, how am I going to do something that, you know, is special and, and different, you know, even though it is a mother song, you know, and, and I thought about a prayer, you know, at the time, you know, back then I was thinking, what can you do to really and truly, you know, repay your mother, you know, and, um, I realized that there was nothing that you know anybody can do to 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 repay somebody for carrying you for nine months or however long it is, you know, and bring you here in the world, you know, and give you all of that love, you know, even just just even if even if your mother wasn't there for some point after you were born, you know, I feel like there's you know just the fact that she brought you here, you know, like she was you were with her for nine months or as I said, however long it was, you know, to bring her here, it's 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 a great thing. You know, so I was saying that, you know, the, the mere fact that we cannot repay them, you know, the, the only thing that we probably can do is pray for them, you know, pray for long life and good health, you know, and um, so I use that concept, you know, and just talk about, you know, some important points in my life growing up, you know, which was, you know, you know, her being around, you know, um, her having to leave at one point. You know, and um, there are so many important points, you know, in my life growing up that I can remember with my mother. And I decided to put all of them in the song, you know, and just call it a prayer. You know, the chorus of the song is a prayer. And then the, the verses are basically my, our life story, you know, and which I know a lot of people can relate to as well. So that was the whole concept behind the song. Wonderful. How important it is to have a good team around you? Yeah, what, it is everything. What you attribute to your success in terms of you getting out there and people knowing your name everywhere. Yeah, I mean, I mean you know, as you mentioned, um, team, it is good to have a support system around you. Um, I, I always say to people that I don't, I, I don't think that I have, a, you know, you know, I have, I have a team who just believe in me, to be mm -hmm. honest with you. Um, you know, it's not the team with a bag of money to spend here and there and to promote this and that and and to do everything that I would want to, you know, but it's a team that believes in me, you know, from day one, people who just have a good heart, you know, they want to see, they want to see me do well, they want to see me win, you know, and, and, and in the end of the day, as a team, we win together, you know, so, you know, our people who, who will try and reach out to anybody out there just to, for them to hear my music, just for them to, you know, you know, to, to, to have that interest, you know, and see the direction, see the goal, see the dream, you know, and um, I think you know, just having that 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 team around is is one of the one of the things that everybody should work towards. You know, and, and it is not easy to attain. You know, but once you pe find people with with a good heart and people who, who 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 want to see you grow, you know, and in every possible way, you know, you have to just you know you have to stick to those people and just stay strong and 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 treat them with the same kind of love that they show you, and 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 everything will work out fine. <laughs> Pre-COVID, I'm sure you would have had lots of plans like many of us did for 2020. What are some of the things that yeah. you have to put on pause as a result of um, COVID-19? Of course, Grenada coming to, being here. Coming what? to Grenada, man. <laughs> I mean, you know, there, there's so much, there's so many, you know, shows and, um, you know, some, some important moves that we're um, planning to, 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 to make, you know, personal moves, you know, and... Um, I already said to put on pause. You know, some, some of them I don't even remember them because uh, everything did. It's just the way COVID nineteen kind of changed the entire thing, you know. And um, you know, you know, it kind of show you that, you know, there are there are things out there in the world that can change. And um, can can change you can change the world, you know, either for the worse or for the better, you know. And um, you know, you know. As I said, our livelihood, you know, you know, going out there and, and touring, you know, this is what keep keep me going some of the time, you know, like even help to help me to think whenever I travel, you know, help to, to help to free my mind, you know, in, in terms of you know the next move in terms of the music, you know, and, and everything like that. You know, traveling sometimes does all of that for me. You know, so it is not it, it is not easy not doing it, you know, but as I said earlier on. You know, you, you get to look at things from a different point, you know, like, you know, if, you know, the good things, you know, the things that, you know, I should appreciate, you know, and, you know, you know, just just sitting back and looking out there and appreciating, you know, life itself, you know, you know, what, 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 where would I be? What would I be doing if it wasn't for um, everything that is happening now? 
you know um so you know i'm i'm not even worried about things that i didn't get to do or or, or i should should have you know done this year you know i'm just grateful that you know we still have life and the opportunity to to do them in a, in in the near future hopefully when all of this is over Definitely keeping faith and hope alive for that. Um, yeah, and the mm -hmm. folks on the live, they're going absolutely crazy talking about, you know, we are so looking forward <laughs> to seeing you here as part of, you know, yeah. the new I was, I was, yeah, I was, I was really looking forward to, you know, especially coming to Grenada. You know, you know, you know, we travel the world. There are so many places that we, you know, we go sometimes, but, you know, whenever it comes to Grenada, it's a, it's a different kind of love. You know, people in, in Grenada treat me like I'm home. You know, um, you know, it's it's just amazing. You know, the, the love that I get from Grenada. You know, I always talk about it with my team. You now we get love all over the world, and we appreciate it. But there is something about Grenada that is that is different. You know, you know, um, it's hard to explain the love that the people of Grenada have shown. You know, since day one. You know, I always feel like a like a king whenever I'm in Grenada. You know, and um. You know, you can't I, can't, I can't even express the love, you know, you know, it's different. It's way, 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 way different from, from, from everywhere else in the world. You know, and I'm, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful to, to be a part of the, the, the family, the Grenada, Grenada family, you know, and, um, you know, I'm, you know, words can't even express, you know, how grateful I am for the, the people who support me in Grenada, you know, and um, I can't wait to see, I can't wait to see Grenada. I can't wait for all of this to over and for us to, you know, come and, and, and see the people of Grenada. You mentioned being traveling all over the world. What would you say is one of your most memorable places, one of the most memorable places you would have visited or you would have performed, you know, apart from the Caribbean? Ah, wow. I remember one time we went to this island that is off the, off the west, yes, east, of the east coast of Africa. I, I think it's called Seychelles. You Seychelles. Um, it's a little island. Um, it, it's it's so beautiful, and, and it reminds me of of the Caribbean as well. And I think that that is one of the most memorable, you know, um, places. You know how how far we traveled and how close it felt to home. To you know, it have this whole Caribbean feel to it. The, the mountains and just the vibe of the people. How they love reggae music. How they love Caribbean music. You know, it 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 was it was amazing. You know, and um, that is that is that is one of the places that I travel to that I will will never forget either. You know, and, and it's because of how close of how, how close I felt to home. You know, being that far away from 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 the Caribbean. You know, so you know, Seychelles is one of those places that I would have to say, yeah. I noticed that you stay very far away from drama and the negatives and whatever else that's all there. We don't. Mm -hmm. I've never heard your name being mentioned in anything to do with. <laughs> <laughs> any, anything of that sort um let's talk music because if you we're paying attention i mean especially now folks are paying attention to what's happening musically and um even before covid you would hear a lot of back and forth between artists um, more on, on the dancehall side now coming to mm -hmm. reggae what are your thoughts on reggae and the direction that it's heading are you comfortable that reggae has a home or um or, or more folks are debating towards dancehall yeah, I, I, I feel like, you know, we're in a time where um, a lot of us as artists, we're trying new things, you know, we're trying new sounds, um, you know, you know, we sometimes we make, we, we do new things and we call it reggae, we call it dance, uh, we call it whatever we want to call it, but in truth, the truth is, it, it is not what it is, you know, you know, it's just us trying new things, you know, we're wanting to, you know, quote unquote, you know, cross over. You know that is a lot of us. That is a dream that a lot of us have. You know, um, we want to cross over so bad. We want to the world to hear us so bad. You know, but you know we're losing our that authentic you know sound. You know, I feel like you know you know we try new things. You know, we have to keep the core. We have to keep you know um, what people know us for. You know, um, I've seen people out there in the world try new things, but at the end of the day, they keep you know that, that base that basic sound that sound that people would say that bass line or that drum pattern or something about the music that people would recognize and say well this is still dancehall or this is still reggae you know so i feel like you know it's good when you try new things you know but 
you know, it's bad when we lose, you know, the, the, the authentic sound, you know, the, 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 you know, what the world knows for. You know, and I feel like, you know, even if it work in you know, here in Jamaica or in the Caribbean or where, you know, the diaspora is, you know, um it, it won't go much further, you know, and, and, and I think you know that's what that that's what we should be looking on, you know, how far the music can go, you know, and, and, and thinking about you know how long we want to stay within this this realm, you know, with 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 with, with, with something that belongs to somebody else. And yeah, that's that's that that's how I always see it, you know. Um, you know, we, we can we can call it whatever we want and you know, we can put the the title reggae or dance or whatever we want to call it. But truth is it is not what it is. You know, we have to just find a balance with what we're doing. You know, nothing is wrong with growth, you know, nothing is want, wrong with want to wanting to be different, you know, but you know, we have to keep the core. You know, I feel like there are aspects of our music that, that are dying, you know. I f- personally I feel like lovers rock music. Is a music that that is 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 slowly dying, you know. You know, you know. I couldn't tell when last I hear a song that you know that that you know that that is a lovers rock that you know people say yes, this is a big song. I would love this song. Or this is a, you know. I, I couldn't tell when last. You know. You know. You know. Sometimes I try. You know. Sometimes I feel like you know I'm I'm here like. A fish out of water, you know, just trying to trying something impossible. The only fish in that you big know. pond. Yeah, and and um, you know, it's sad, you know, you know, and, and and it's what you know people are diverting to, you know, and then artists feel like, you know, most of us as artists feel like, you know, people aren't listening to this kind of music anymore, so it doesn't make any sense making it, you know. Um, it's not true. Every you know, every so, Every part has a home. Everybody have different tastes. Not everybody wants to. Some people won't yeah. still that love. Still want to feel that love. Yeah, yeah. So, so for me, it's it's, it's sometimes whenever I make this kind of music and I see, you know, a few people saying, "Yo, I love this." You know, this is like a breath of fresh air. Thank you for this. You know, even though it's sometimes not the majority, or even though a few people are saying that they love it, you know, it's not the kind of music that everybody's taking up and playing. You know, you know, it's just, it's just that, 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 that whole vibe that you get from, 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 from a few people who continue to show the love. You know, that give me the confidence to continue to make this kind of music. You know, so, you know, and you know, just to hope in the back of my head that you know one day people will understand and people will come right back around to, to this kind of music. You know, you know, and um, you know, for me, I tried, I tried a few things too. You know, but you know, I always come right back to where it is, where it started. You know, you know what I think, believe is, you know, will will last. You know, you know, and um, you know, that is what is keeping you know that belief in and keeping me going. You know, with with the music that I create. You know, but you know, um, you know, if I should say overall, where I think the music is going, I think it will go, you know, where it where it is supposed to go. But as 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 artists, we have to understand first, you know, what we're doing, you know, what we're doing with the music, you know, where, you know, the people who created it, you know, wanted it to go. And if we're not careful, then we will lose our sound, we lose ourselves, we lose the culture, we lose everything. You know, trying to 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 sound like some something else out there, trying to as I say, quote unquote, crossover or, you know, you know, you know, you know, we'll lose everything, you know, if we're not careful with, with what we're doing with the music. Because apart from yourself, um, Chris Martin, and I know the two of you have a really good um, relationship in terms of, you know, yeah. music and, and everything. Will we see anything, any collabs um, anytime soon from the two of you? Yeah, man, I, 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 I've been working on a few, you know, collaborations, you know, you know, there, there's this song that you know, I did with Pato Rankin. You mm-hmm. know, it was, you know, it was we we I was, you know, I was planning, you know, myself and the team to put out the song, you know, but then it is, you know, sometimes we write songs that have a similar topic. It's not saying the exact same thing, but the, the topic is similar. And then we don't want to drop a song that's saying this and then and another song that is almost saying the same thing. You know, um so we decided to to kind of put it on pause. You know, we were also hoping that maybe Hopefully, it can come out on, our, on the next album that we have coming out. So, yeah, you know, that is something that, you know, we're looking forward. You know, there are so many artists out there that, 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 that um, I'm working on songs with artists that we have done collaborations already with, you know, that we have others coming. Myself and Chris Martin, we have, we have um, other collaborations coming out, you know, soon, hopefully soon. You know, and, um, 
you know, you know, you know, for me, you know, I, 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 I feel like the way that, you know, I want to approach music nowadays is to just give people the music instead of having them saying, you know, we have this coming, we have this coming, we have this coming. You know, it's just to give them the music because, you know, um, so I, I realize that sometimes we can over promote and, and then, you know, whenever the, the song come out, you know, it's the expectation behind it, the whole vibe, the anticipation, you know, people kind of change to a different direction. They are listening to something else, you know, because of how long we take to come out with the music. So I just want to give people music at the end of the day and, um, you know, you know, not to have them waiting. You know, I can't wait to hear this collaboration with Romain and Chris or, or Romain and Taurus or Romain or whoever. Just, I just want to give them music, you know, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm really actually looking forward to, you know, to collaborate more with, you know, with, with, with more Carib Caribbean artists as well. You know, earlier on in the year, you know, you know, Mr. Killer was, yes, was was here was here in Jamaica, um, for the 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 I think it was a culture clash, mm -hmm. um, you know, and and we get to link up and and vibe a bit, you know, we were talking about you know you know making collaborations as well, you know, so he's somebody that I'm looking forward to, you know, somebody from 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 Grenada, somebody from the Caribbean, somebody who loves music. And um, so I'm looking forward to, to just, you know, do music. With, there, there have been Caribbean artists that have reached out to already too, you know, to, 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 to do collaborations and um, it didn't work out, you know, for whatever reason, you know, but I'm somebody that, you know, I, I love music, you know, and I'm always here. I always want to, to collaborate on, on different levels, especially with Caribbean people so that, you know, not just, you know, Jamaican music can grow, but, you know, Caribbean music overall, because I feel like, you know, you know, it's, you know, soca is 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 really and truly, you know, getting bigger. It's it's growing bigger. I think the world is gonna hear about it. You know, and I feel like, you know, anywhere reggae and dance are go, you know, you know, you know, soca can go there too. You know, and um, you know, Caribbean music overall, the world will 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 open their eyes and their ears to us, you know, soon enough. You know, but you know, it just take for us as artists to come together. You know, and to build, you know, that's the only way we can really and truly conquer, you know, whenever they see us united, you know. So, you know, I'm 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 hopeful, you know, and I'm and I'm just looking forward for great things. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Listen, um yeah. are we quickly running out of time, but these women on, on this live <sighs> we're gonna have to <laughs> Do what something. are they saying? <laughs> you through? I'm going to send you the link so you can go back and read these comments. But <laughs> you cannot leave here and not at least give them a, a couple of weeks ago, I think one or two or three weeks ago, you had um, this live um, show. Um, of course, bearing in mind that we're not going anywhere anytime soon. And um, yeah. you know, the concerts and what have you, you did your own concert thingy. Would we be seeing any one of that, um, any one of those soon? Another one for a longer time? Yeah. Yeah, I try, what I, what we're trying to do as a team is not to get too um, what you'd call it, too common, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so you know, we did it earlier. Yeah, I think it was probably about two weeks ago or or three. You know, what we want to do is is to keep it um, keep it special. You know, we you know you know we, 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 we yeah yeah, and um, so for sure there there will be a next one. You know, and 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 the people at Grenada and around the world will hear whenever we're going. You know, we're doing our acoustic show again. You know, but it is a good vibe. You know, people seem to love what we're doing. You know, you know, you know, you know, for them to stay at home and to just watch we, watch us. Um, you know, you know, playing some nice music for them. You know, people seem to appreciate that. So hopefully we can get to do it. You know, I don't want to say soon, but at the right time, whenever they miss, they really and truly miss me. You know, and um, you know, um, so we're that is something that we're looking forward to. So we can't wait, you know, to get back in the studio and to, to give them another um Instagram, Facebook, YouTube live. Looking forward to it. So on that note, out of the acoustic, best of me, we want to hear mm -hmm. that uh, <sighs> these comments. <laughs> you just give us a couple lines. We're gonna take it a cappella of best of me, and then uh, we'll come back for a couple seconds before we wrap up. So let me just turn on my music so you can give them what they want. Um, you singing. Um, that early, was early man advice. Don't work with me, <laughs> but I'll try it. <laughs> we'll take whatever we get. So, so just yeah. to just to just to put them at ease because they're not letting up. Um, I, I'm honestly seeing if he's singing, if he's singing one more time. So just give us a little piece so we can move on. 
Okay. So when it's all played out and I'm old and gray, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. Yes, I made mistakes and I made my change. There's nothing left to do. There's nothing left to do. And so I'm giving you the best of me. I'm giving you the best of me. I'm giving you the best of me. I'm giving you the best. When tomorrow comes, and my race is done there's no one else but you there's no one else but you start all over again i know you'd be my friend yes i know it's true there's nothing left to do so i'm giving you the best of me i'm giving you the best of me i'm giving you the best of me i'm giving you the best i'm giving you the best of me i'm giving you the best of me this is the best of me i'm giving you the best oh na 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 yeah 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 giving you the best of me i'm giving you the best of me and i'm giving you the best of me i'm giving you the best what if i love every time grenada what if that's know, the remember, morning voice so of then we're gonna take the morning voice any day of the week <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. I, I tried. I tried my best. <laughs> well, you definitely did more than your best because you're getting rave reviews and a whole lot of love going up in the on the live right now. And everybody's saying their day is made and they've you've taken their mind off of COVID and they can move on with their day. So for that, we want to thank you a whole lot. So of course, yeah, right. it's a couple minutes before we go. In terms of your takeaway from this whole experience, this whole COVID-19, what would you say that is? You know, it's just for us to get together more as people, you know, this, you know, it, it gives us the opportunity to, to get closer to each other, to, you know, to, to know each other some more. I'm sure there are people around the world that, you know, they, they haven't seen their families like, like this ever. And, um, you know, people that haven't, you know, you know, taking the time out to reach out to each other and help each other. You have people living in communities that, you know, never seen, never seen each other. You know, like ever like this. You know, so, you know, I, 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 I take you know that positive from it. You know, getting to see each other. You know, I think it kind of, you know, as I was saying the other day to 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 a friend of mine that you know this this whole disease, this whole COVID nineteen virus, um, you know, kind of help us to understand that we're humans. You know, and and nobody's better than anybody. You know, anybody can get. You know, you know, everybody can get this this whole disease. And um, you know, it's just for us to look at each other and say, "Yo, I'm no better than you." You know, I love you, and I should take care of my friends. I should take care of my family. I should get close to them. I should use this opportunity to know them even more. And and um, you know that's basically what I take from 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 this whole thing. You know, you know, just people understanding that you know, you know, we're 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 nobody's better than than the other. You know, you know, um, you know, just just loving each other as much as we can. You know, and getting close. You know, and 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 seeing each other as family. You now, you know, and and um, you know, as I said, this is what I basically take from this whole thing. You know, just. You know, I'm happy that I'm somebody that, that is always, I never see myself, you know, um, bigger or, or better than anybody, you know, um, you know, so, you know, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm re-educating myself, you know, <laughs> through, through, through this whole coronavirus, you know, thing, you know, that, you know, you know, you know, I'm looking back at myself and saying, wow, 
you know, this proved to me even more how valuable, you know, you know, so um, other 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 others' lives are, you know, to me. You know, so, you know, it's it's just it's just important for all of us, you know, to to see each other just the same, you know, and and just to stay strong and 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 you know, unite, you know, because. Unity is the only thing that is gonna, you know, when we unite and when we love each other, it's the only way we're gonna grow and get better as a people. You know, I always know this, you know, but you know, you know, it shouldn't take, you know, something like this for us to understand that, you know. But sometimes it has to go that way. You know, you know, you know, it has to take something like, you know, a disease that is going to help us as people to understand that, you know, we we are we are we are we are humans and we only have one life. You know, we should love each other and protect each other. You know, and um, I just hope that you know my people, you know, here in Jamaica, in in Grenada, in the Caribbean, you know, wherever you are around the world, just use this as an eye opener to to to, to love each other and, and be there for each other and, and and come together and unite as one. Could not have think of a better way to end. So I was, I've got no further questions. You practically you wrapped it up and summed it up nicely. And like I said, you know, Grenada loves you a whole lot. And, you know, just seeing these responses and, you know, all the love that you're getting on the live really reinforces that, you know, home is Grenada is definitely a second home for you. So whenever you decide, you know what, I don't yeah. want to be anymore. You can definitely come here. Hey, that, you know, hey, like, my, my, I, I, I brought my. I, I think I, I think it was a couple of years ago, and you know, mommy came with me to Grenada, and you know, you know, every time she she's asking me when is she getting to go to Grenada again. You know, so, Make you know, she- Grenada will, will always be a place, not just to come and do a show whenever it comes around, comes around to, you know, showtime, but it's somewhere that you know I would I would love to take my family for them to really experience the vibe. You know, my mommy loves it so much that she she wants every time she says so when when I, when am I getting to go back to Grenada. That is how much you love it, and, and my mommy has been to so many places, you know, around the world, you know. So it, it shows that Grenada is special, you know, not just to me but to, to my family now, you know. So I'm looking forward, man. I can't wait for the Definitely. next time. Well, so I just want to say thank you so much. Like I said, I know how busy you are with family and you know the kids, and they can be a handful that young. So I'm just happy that you took the time out to you know to reach out and touch base with the fans and let them know that you're still hanging in there, and of course, um, keeping the fo- the faith and encouraging us to do the same. So we just want to send enough love to your mom, your wife, kids, everybody, and you know. Thanks so much for coming through this morning and looking forward to another live event again. Don't know how soon yeah, that will be. Thank you so much. looking forward yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah, man, I'll let you know, man, so you can tell everybody that's listening right now Most whenever day. we're doing it again. So, but yeah, man, but thank you for, for, for everything. And I'm big up to everybody that's watching. Grenada, Romain Virgo, love you so much. And I can't wait to see you guys again. Take thank care you. of yourself. Thanks so much. Bless. And that's our program inside the room, the ladies' room this morning with Romain Virgo. It was indeed a fantastic one. And of course, tomorrow we'll be back. And you know what happens on a Tuesday or Edification Tuesday with Eddie Fedrick. So hope you guys will be here for that. Thank you so much to everyone in the room. I'll go check out the comments again. As I can see you guys, a couple of you have been really misbehaving, especially Nikki. Yeah. Yo, but at least Jamila was on a good behavior just seeing first comment from her so that means she's behaving herself so thank you for that yeah I'll be back tomorrow with another one all oh, compliments Western Union Subway and Beacon Insurance really appreciate it alright and big up everyone who was in the room keeping us company we appreciate it a whole lot catch y'all tomorrow same time same place for another one Ladies Room comes to you compliments of Beacon Insurance. Insurance is a promise to pay at Beacon. We keep our promise. Rent-